Hey yo together and very welcome to the Starcraft 2 Crazy Replays today with a nice TVZ and I hope everything is okay now. As you can see, old overlay again because of uh, old replay. It's not really old, like one month or so, but hey, Blizzard decided to patch the game again and so with that not make me able to use my own overlay like the one I got from SV Rush. Which is a pity, but that's how it is. So here we are on, I think it's Daybreak, <laughs> if I'm not mistaken, with a TVC. And spawning in the bottom left hand side, it is the blue sir called Innovation. And of course it's not Innovation the Terran player off racing against me, it's just someone who called himself as well Innovation. And in the top right hand side, in the red, it's me playing for the Pro Kings, Alex Asher. Woo! And I've chosen this replay to show you because it's, I think, somewhat special. I haven't played a lot lately. Like, really, I haven't played a lot. Uh, no time at all, so <laughs> I'm pretty bad at this game as well. Mm, currently not doing too good, but I'm still tier 1 master, so that that's the most important part. Being being on a, on the same level, staying on the same level, that's important for me currently. And it looks like pretty standard opening so far from me and from Innovation here, of course, with the hatch gas pool. Nothing special. I like this overload placement. It's it's really it's really nice. You could have it like here, so you wouldn't be surprised by any bunker rushes, which can still happen very rarely, but it could happen. And then that would be a very big surprise if now two bunkers are ready with a lot of marines. And yeah. But it's okay. It almost never happens nowadays. And here we see the factory, soon maybe the reactor. There we go, nice. Really, really nice. And the refinery, of course, repawn its way to scout out what's going on. The circlings are ready here as well. And there's the Reaper, and there's the Queen. Ah, nice grenade. Doing some damage here, being a little bit annoying. And scouting for the potential third base, not there quite yet. And we do see a starport on the way. So it's not the 2 1 1 opening so far, it's just 1 1 1. And with that, oh, Hellions. That's interesting, Hellions. We might just see a quick third command center, but doesn't have to be that way. Uh, speed will finish in 20 seconds, so 330, 320, depending on the build. Uh, and. Uh, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's quite normal. Oh, 16 circlings. Wow, I don't know th if that is normal. Like, those could be 8 drones, but he decides to go for a massive amount of circlings super early while taking a third, so he definitely seems to uh, want to, to pressure a lot here. Put on a lot of pressure on me. Mm, Viking on its way. Very interesting, Viking on a tech lab starport and there are the circlings but I can tell you Hellions are really good against circlings so let's see what happens here he sees it and oh there I am oh, awesome grenade will he get the wrap around it's so close the depot is helping out a lot I'm trying to juke here but he's dealing a lot of damage the micro not the best here at all but it looks like I just barely can hold this. But more and more circlings are streaming across the map so far. Unit lost tab not looking too bad, but he sacrificed a lot. And I don't know if you saw it in the production tab, but... <laughs> oh man. Ah, oh, the Viking falls as well, that's not too good. Some SVs died here as well, four in total. But so far, not too bad. The resources lost have quite equal. And the harvesters are favoring me. 
But I don't have a third command center while he got the third hatchery and you can see it! Battle Cruiser with Yamato Cannon. <laughs> a TVC? I, I don't know if that was still where the Hydralis upgrade would give uh, uh, would boost the range to seven instead of six. I think it was uh, because it's an old replay, you know, like one month old. But yeah, Hydralisk were super strong. The muscular augments uh, gained them not only bonus speed on creep and off creep, but also instead of plus one range, plus two if I'm not mistaken. So they had seven range instead of six. So they outrange marines, marauder. Uh, Stalker, Adept, yeah, Adept, okay, they only have four range, but still, massively immortal, uh, Colossus with outrange, uh, Archons, of course, they, they basically outranged every Protoss unit, like Void Race, I think as well, Oracle, of course, <laughs> it was, it was really, really stupid. But yeah, first battle cruiser on its way, and nothing to spot it for innovation here. But he got some roaches, uh, like eight roaches, and there's nothing to defend. He's morphing an overseer now, and I don't have much to defend here at home. There's a Viking, nice. There are the Hellions. They will see this. Am I losing a one hell? Oh, so close. Here's the battle cruiser. Uh, definitely can help a lot here against those roaches, but it's not looking too good. So maybe I need to use the tactical jump to get back because there is not much I can do here to defend. Those roaches don't take a lot of damage from the Hellions, and yeah, I need to teleport back here. So there we go, battle cruiser action, the Ah, uh, Yamato cannon used as well, and I'm losing a lot of SEVs in the process again, defending here. So now I'm down quite some SEVs, and the battle cruiser not the best unit here. Eight damage per shot. So the Roach takes 7 damage per shot because of the one armor. Hellions come back. I am able to defend here, but it was painful. 16 worker killed so far in total in this game. I am getting more and more production facilities, so that's nice. I just saw the Muslim play Battle Cruiser and TVP. And I tried it and I, 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 I completely got crushed in this game. Like, it was so bad. Okay, here's the Muscular Augments. It just gives plus one range, okay. Uh, there was a second upgrade, which was it? Maybe it's it's not that old of a replay. I, I'm not quite sure. I, I think the Hydra stand had two upgrades back at that time. Like one for speed and one for the upgrades. Here's a Banshee, a random Banshee attacks the Hydra stand. Uh, where's the battle cruiser? There's the battle cruiser. There are the Hellions, multi prong attack everywhere. Will the Hydra then go down? The Hellions. Ah, payback time! Barbecue! Whoa! The oh god, the Hydra is then so low. The Roach is not doing anything here. Getting just killed. There's the battle cruiser killing the, the queens. The Banji is still alive. Dealing quite some damage. Ah, it might fall now. There's the battle cruiser. Still dealing damage. And yeah, now it's not looking too good here for innovation. The Hydra is then. Still alive, the Banshee did survive. And yeah, the Hydralis are now attacking here. The battle cruiser. Taking a good fight. But oh and that's that's the part that's get nasty. But those roaches! Mm, dealing more and more damage here. Very good run by. Completely killing a lot of stuff. This tank might fall. The Banshee coming back to help. Roaches are not able to shoot up the battle cruiser as well. The Widow Mines. Those roaches will go down, but nice move there. That was on purpose, killing the banjo with a splash. And there are Hydralis. They have Burrow. Burrow. That's not bad, but he needs to be so careful. There are Vitamines, there are tanks, there's counter repair, there's a battle cruiser, which gets repaired by one SUV. That will take quite some time. Oh my goodness. Uh, innovation now taking the fourth base. It's not looking too good with the, with the supply for both players as we are. Uh, trading blows at, it, uh, at each other all over again. And there we go. Tank. The Ooh! Good shots. And yeah, that was that was quite expensive. I would love to show you how many kills those battle cruisers have. This guy killed 14 units. Would be cool to know what exactly those units were, but hey. Ah, uh, bullet roaches. 
A very good move. Is it enough? More burrowed roaches. Oh yeah, that's not bad for those few roaches killing so much stuff. Like two or three tanks, I would say that's worth it. Uh, note the tanks now deal 70 damage to armor, so roaches. They... Oh, bit of mine! Stealing so much damage here as well. This tank gets counter repair. Tactical jump back to help against the Hydrolisk. Maybe Yamato Cannon. There we go. Boom! <laughs> uh, that's, that's a lot of fun. So here are the battle cruiser still doing well. No armor so far, so this the, 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 the upgrades are super late. Uh, for both players, actually. That's that's a bit weird. Cyclones on the way. They are not too bad. Uh, how much splash does a winner mind deal? 40. Okay. Ah, I knew it. So here's the battle cruiser uh, hit squad. Uh, only consists of two units. There's a turret. There are Vitamines. Oh no, please don't. Mm, Vitamines and tanks. Oh my goodness, so much damage. Yeah, you can't you can't go in there. And uh, here are the battle cruiser. They definitely should take out the Hydrolisk then. Look at the damage. Pew 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 pew. So the Hydro then goes down. And I don't know if innovation can really counter attack into this. Three Vitamines, two, four tanks, and some cyclones. The R Hydro is coming. And he's attacking right into this. Not too scrappy. One battle cruiser jumping back, getting counter repaired as well. He needs to get out of there. And a second battle cruiser still there, dealing lots of damage. 21 kills on that one. 5 kills on that one. There are more battle cruiser on the other side of the map. Killing another queen. Oh, this is so nasty. And queens. They don't have enough HP. They die to Yamato Cannon. And Hydrolists don't have much HP either, so you can't take <laughs> you can't take direct engagements against against Hydrolis. Oh this queen! So this hatch is so dead. The Hydro Den got rebuilt. But at, at some point. Yeah, innovation needs to spend the 20 lava he got. But he's waiting for the spire. Probably for Corruptor, but this hatch is so dead, and now it's three base against three base soon as well. I'm taking another command center, double upgrades now for the battle cruiser to make them a little bit more useful. And yeah, this mineral line completely exposed. Roach is not helping against battle cruiser whatsoever. Uh, TP out! Ooh, 30 HP, that's so annoying. And there we go, more pew pew, and there we are. Out of it again. So the battle cruiser do have three base armor. The hydrolists do 12 base damage. So, <laughs> yeah, 13 with the upgrade. And two more battle cruiser. This one, 21 kills. It looks like it's the final, the final move. TP out again, dealing more damage, killing the rocks. Yamato cannon and TP out. Maybe a little bit early, but it's fine. I should take some SCVs for counter repair, but. Slowly but surely, I'm building up a nice armada, and those battle cruiser have kills. 22, 9, 0, well, those are young. 22, yeah, 6. It, it's good, and, and 5 Hydrolis and 11 Roaches, and some circuits against Hellbats, Tanks, Cyclones, and Battle Cruiser? That's not enough! I think Innovation lost this game, guys. I think. They are the Mutalis, but Mutalis deal not much damage. 9 damage per shot, but it's. Oh. Uh, no, they get they get killed. Mutalis are so bad against battle cruiser. Look at that. You can't fight battle cruiser with Mutalis. You need Corruptor, and even then it's difficult. Viper would be the best option. And there we go. GG. So that was that game. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed. And the next one, I'm sure, will be interesting as well. Uh, and this is Master League. So interestingly, I saw it work in GM. Like Nathaniel's played it in GM. So it is, it was an A, but Ben the Muslim played it on Europe as well. It doesn't matter. It is viable up to GM. Maybe not in pro tournaments, but it is viable somewhat in GM. And it's fun. Uh, playing with the Battle Cruiser is fun. So, yeah, next game should be interesting as well. With that said, I hope you enjoyed. As always, thank you for watching. I wish you a very nice day and goodbye.
Hey yo there, thank you for watching. If you'd like to support me, simply hit the thumbs up button. Do you have any wishes, feedback or suggestions, put them into the comments below. You may also subscribe if you're new to the channel. I wish you a wonderful and stress-free day. Take care. Bye bye.